Hey kids, uh, today's story is called Wombat Divine. It's written by Mem Fox and the pictures, the illustrations are by Kerry Argent. Uh, and this one, the publishers is Scholastic. So shout out to them. Wombat Divine. For as long as he could remember, Wombat had wanted to be in the nativity. Now, at last, he was old enough to take part. So, with his heart full of hope and his head full of dreams, he hurried along to, to the auditions. There he is, running down the hill on the way to the audition. Emu was bossing and fussing as usual. Now, let's get started, she said. Who'd like to be the Archangel Gabriel? I would said Wombat. But he was too heavy to be the Archangel Gabriel. Can you see his funny face? <laughs> Bilby was chosen instead. Bilby patted Wombat on the back. Never mind Wombat, don't lose heart. Why not try for a different part? What a good idea, said Emu. Now, who'd like to be Mary? I would, said Wombat. But he was too big to be Mary. Look, he's trying to ride on the donkey, but he's getting all tangled up. Numbat was chosen instead. Numbat stroked Wombat's nose. There, there, Wombat, don't lose heart. Why not try out for a different part? Right, said Emu. Now, who'd like to be one of the three kings? I would, said Wombat. But he was too short to be a king. Oh, I know how he feels. Look, all his clothes are too big for him. The kangaroos were chosen instead. The kangaroos put their arms around Wombat. Cheer up, Wombat. Don't lose heart. Why not try for a different part? Wombat tried everything. He wanted to be Joseph. But he was too sleepy. He wanted to be the innkeeper. But he was too clumsy. He wanted to be one of the shepherds. But he was too short-sighted. And then there were no parts left. Wombat, Wombat hung his head and hoped he wouldn't cry. Can you think of any parts in the nativity story that they've missed? A part that maybe Wombat could play? Suddenly, Bilby leapt into the air. I know, he shouted, you could be the baby Jesus. Could I? asked Wombat. Could I really? Of course you could, Wombat, said Emu. Fancy my forgetting such an important part. A nativity without the baby Jesus is no nativity at all. Wombat was dizzy with pride. Look, he looks very happy, doesn't he? Christmas Eve arrived at last. Everyone was nervous, except for Wombat. He lay quiet and still throughout the whole performance. He even fell asleep, just as the real baby would. On Christmas Day, when everyone was opening presents and eating pudding, they all agreed it had to be the best nativity ever. You were divine, Wombat, said Emu. Can you find 
find a Christmas tree on the page. Oh, here comes Hunter. Can you find the Christmas tree? There it is. And Wombat themed. And that's the end of our story today. Did you like that one, Hunter? You missed most of it. <laughs> see you kids, I'll see you next time.